Most writers tend to think about stories in this sort of conversation arc and that's how I kind of think about the Mini really. This was the, the start of my conversation in cars. It's a 1998 Mini Paul Smith uh, with a 1275cc Cooper engine and I actually had no intention of buying the thing. I was actually after a motorcycle at the time um, and I'd got to this salvage yard and this car had been put in as a Partex and it was looking so shabby and forlorn in the corner. And suddenly I had this sort of pang of guilt that had overtaken me and, and I needed to, in, to restore it, you know, I needed to get it back to full health. Some Northerners are born without sentiment, it's just that I'm not one of them. You need to remember this was when Mini was operating as a company on a totally different frequency to what it's doing now. You know, it was under Rover ownership, the cars were still being really hammered together. Now, under BMW's control, obviously the cars are a lot more mature and more refined, but I sometimes feel that there's, there's a bit less character with them. I mean, they might be safer, obviously, but they're certainly less mini. I'm not saying that's good or bad, it's just cars are different now. I just don't feel that we could ever return to this sort of motoring. The company was never afraid of knocking out a few limited editions here and there, especially at the back end of the car's life, but for me, the, the Mini Paul Smith partnership just feels the most authentic. Simplicity has always been a real key part of British design, but I think the other important piece that you need to acknowledge with that is that the beauty is really in the detail. And I am a total sucker for detail, you know, whether it's a, a join in a table or, you know, like seams in a shirt, even the 24 karat badge on a car bonnet. It's the kind of detail that would probably be overlooked by a lot of people, but for those willing to look a bit deeper, look a bit further into things, you're almost rewarded for it. Just 1,800 units of this thing were made, um, 300 of which came to the UK in this Paul Smith blue, but the colours and the badges are different, obviously, but the song and dance remains the same. You know, the essence of what a mini's all about, and, and that's what I've bought into. They were never built with love and affection, though, that's for sure. Just <laughs> properly hammered together. It's amazing really because it's built with such an impermanence and yet this car just transcends everything. Fashion, locations, you know, generations. It's just it's as relevant now as it as it was back in the sixties. See you later. The car lives in the Lake District these days now and every time I come back and when I sit in the car for the first time and the leather creaks a little bit and you hear the little springs dip a little bit. It kind of feels like you're coming back to a, a really familiar home and you've got this very sort of idle smell of summer. It's the notion of character, isn't it? It's what cars are all about. You, know, you, you can't really consider cars as just being a means to an end. They're an end in themselves and you need to drive these things and on these roads, you know, the Lithe Valley, for example, or the Crook Road, it's really winding and narrow. And a car like the Mini just works beautifully. It's just, it's just such a thrill. It doesn't matter what speed you're doing either. And you forgive it a lot, to be fair. You know, there's a lot of things about this car that are a total pain in the arse. Driving position's really odd. You've got a steering wheel that's like sat upright, like you're driving a bus. Four-speed gearbox is really, really sloppy. Your pedal sets are all over the place and kind of up here, you know, you just don't know what you're doing. But when you're behind the wheel and you turn and the car pivots, you brake and under a bit of duress, the car brakes. It just feels so fluid and almost like existential, you know, when you're, when you're sort of in that moment and the sun's going down, it's, you just feel that that moment is just pure fun. And it's what motoring's about, surely. <laughs> still need to sort of toolkit. That's still missing. We'll get the bruising. <laughs>